Hey guys, this is Upesh from Mio.com and it's that time of the year again. Google I.O. is going on and that means a brand new Android version, aka the Android 12 this year. Now the new Android 12 update is all about the three big changes. So I'm going to divide this video into three. The new UI, the privacy and the new features. Well, I have the Android 12 Beta 1 build installed on my Pixel 4a here. So let's get started with the UI. So first up, let me make it clear that Android 12 is by far the biggest revamp of Android since Lollipop. I mean, Android 12 brings what Google is calling the material UUI. And this UI is all about the more dynamic elements, cool animations, more rounded corners, etc. Now, the big change you'll notice first up is the new notification shade and quick settings panel. Honestly, the quick settings here reminds me of me UI, but that's not a bad thing. I think it looks better than your usual icons that we've come to expect from Android quick settings. Anyway, so the notifications now have rounded corners with app icons on the left more prominent and it shows you the number of notifications from an app in a better manner and the snooze notification option is now available right here. Now below the notifications are the two buttons for the notification history which looks good and manage. There's also now support for multiple media players here as you can see. Swiping down brings the quick settings panel and you get these three options at the bottom. The option to edit the toggles in quick settings switch or add user accounts and lastly settings the power menu is supposed to come here but it's not here in this first beta build anyway you get the new settings toggles in a new two row design with the thick brightness toggle on the top now it's not just the looks android 12 is also bringing a couple of very useful new toggles there are two kill switch toggles for camera and mic which will just disable them for any app there are also new toggles coming for google pay and home control but yeah they're not part of this build the lock screen has changed too. It now shows you the weather details with a nice little icon and I think it looks modern and very bold when you don't have any notifications whatsoever. Yep, you get this huge clock on the lock screen which hopefully will be customizable in the future. There's also a thick new volume UI which I'm not a fan of but I've heard that this isn't final. Another new change I've noticed is in the Pixel Launcher. Well, it's the option to get app suggestions on the bottom row aka the dock of the home screen. Now these suggestions, like the ones in the app drawer we've seen, will change according to your usage and time. So yeah, maybe handy. Now like always, there's also the brand new settings page, which makes me feel like I've increased the phone size. Other than that, it is one UI inspired with the whole one-handed focused UI and it looks good. Now talking about one-handed usage, there's also a new one-handed mode, which is very, very similar to iOS's reachability feature. So I can just swipe down at the bottom and the whole UI kind of comes down like this for better access to the top UI elements. Now it's a little clunky in the beta build, but yeah, this is how it works and works everywhere, even in third party apps. Now, apart from these UI changes, there are new animations almost everywhere. First up, there's this new pattern ripple effect, which I really don't like. Just take a look at this. Yeah, it kind of looks like a glitch to me. Anyway, I do like the other cool animations. For example, this charging animation. Yeah, I like how it smoothly goes from the bottom to the top. I also like the smooth screen off and screen on animation. I mean, I like how the screen dims from the corner. Apart from that, there are new animations almost everywhere. For example, in the app drawer, see this? Yeah, that is cool. Now, obviously the big material you feature is the wallpaper based theming. So Android 12 will create a theme based on the colors in your wallpaper. It will detect the dominant colors and the complementary ones, and then create a theme that will extend to the whole UI, be it buttons, pages, keyboard, even the third party apps, and also, the new more dynamic widgets. Yep, Android 12 is also bringing a widget revamp in a sort of follow up to iOS's widgets. But yeah, both of these features aren't present in this build. So let's wait and watch. Now moving on to the second big change in Android 12, it's the privacy related changes. So Android 12 is going to bring a lot of privacy features and a lot of them remind me of iOS. I mean, I've already talked about the new kill switch to disable the camera and microphone access, but there's a whole lot more. First, Android 12 brings private compute core, which will be a separate partition in the OS that will store personal info gathered from features like now playing, smart replies, etc. on the device itself. Android 12 is also bringing a new privacy dashboard, as you can see, which will show you the number of times apps have accessed the camera, mic and location in the last 24 hours. It'll also show you this timeline of which apps have accessed these permissions and when. Android 12 also brings the much-loved privacy indicators similar to iOS. So you'll get these icons when an app is using the camera or the mic. 
Also, you can now give apps your approximate location. As you can see, this is available in this beta build. And yeah, you can enable or disable precise location for specific apps. Now, that's not all. Android 12 will also bring you these small pop-ups when you copy something to show you that the clipboard is being used. Now, one iOS feature that's still missing in Android 12 is the whole app tracking permission, which I think is a big deal. So hopefully we'll see it in the final stable Android 12 build. Now, part of the UI and the privacy, the third big thing of Android 12 is obviously the new features. Now, first up, there's a super cool new fade audio transition when switching audio between apps. Listen to this. Look, privacy is a myth. Yes, it's true. But the least we can do is protect. Also, I got this when I first opened up the Play Store. App install optimization, which is basically Google noting how you're using new apps. Now, the good news is you can turn this off in the Play Store settings. There's also a new accessibility menu floating icon, which can be more convenient for some than the button shortcut. Now, there are a lot of other new features that's not part of this beta, but it's coming in Android 12. There's scrolling screenshots, the new locked folder feature in Google Photos, a game mode and game toolbar, which will let you see FPS, optimize gaming performance, etc. Smart auto rotate, which uses a face for more accurate screen rotation. App hibernation, where unused apps will be forced stopped and their temporary data will be cleared. So there are obviously a lot of these features in Android 12 that we will see later on. Also, if you're wondering, Google says Android 12 brings improved performance. It's said to reduce CPU time by 22% while improving power efficiency by 15%. Look, overall, this is my sort of first look and my very early thoughts on Android 12. And yes, there are new features, but the focus obviously is on the UI. And while the first beta does not bring in all the UI changes, the theming, but if you ask me, I like Android 12 so far. I mean, the last UI revamp came in 2014 with Lollipop. So yes, it's high time Android got a big visual update and Android 12 brings exactly that. Well, I wanna know what you guys think of the latest Android 12 update. Tell us in the comment section below. Also, we will be taking a look at the new privacy features in Android 12 when beta 2 arrives, so stay tuned for that. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and yeah, stay safe, guys.